Mr. Ken. Yeah. 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 Thank you for having me here. I don't know what kind of organization you're running here, but I didn't hear anybody bow in. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and do that for you. Tension. Salute. Us. <laughs> all right. Good evening, everyone. Everyone hear me all right? Yeah. I'm Master Ken, creator of an 11th degree black belt. <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> in Meridote, the most dangerous martial art in the world. Meridote is the only fighting system that is certified to be 100% street lethal. Because it takes the best parts of every martial art in the world with none of the weaknesses. Which is why we like to say, best of all, worst of none. I know many of you are intimidated to be in the presence of the highest ranking martial artist in the world. <laughs> what I'd like to tell you all is, don't be nervous. Believe it or not, I started out as a white belt. <laughs> now, while I am very flattered that the USA Martial Arts Hall of Fame was so excited to get me here that they created what looks to be like over 50 plaques and five of these eagle-shaped paperweights. <laughs> I can only fit one of them in my carry-on, so I told them that it was okay to give the rest to some of you all who are here today. We'll be doing that shortly. I'm here tonight to be honored for my historic contribution to martial arts. Thanks to my YouTube show, After the Dojo, I have managed to help approximately billions of people across all eight continents. Which is why Maradote has been spreading throughout the world faster than a staph infection at a jiu-jitsu <laughs> Now, I don't want to dampen the mood, uh, but I do have some good news and, and some bad news. The bad news is, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but everything that you've been studying up until now is complete bullshit. <laughs> And thanks to my street lethal fighting system, it's not too late for any of you. <laughs> right now, we're running a black belt exchange program. <laughs> if you bring me your old, dirty, worn out black belt, I will replace it with a crisp, clean Ameridote white belt. <laughs> to Jim and Alan, who organized this event and uh, brought me here to be inducted, I'd like to say it's about time. <laughs> I've been online for two years already. I don't know why you waited. <laughs> then suddenly, after they called me, I really did begin to wonder, why did they wait so long? And suddenly the answer hit me faster than Jean-Claude Van Damme going through an eight ball of cocaine. <laughs> that answer hit me harder than Steven Seagal hitting an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> I realized that once you've added Master Ken, the most dangerous martial artist in the world, to your Hall of Fame, you've set the bar too high. Every induction after this will be a disappointment. On the other hand, if you don't induct me, you'll have to change the name of it to the Martial Arts Hall of Bullshit. <laughs> I'll admit I was disappointed when I tried to find the address of this Hall of Fame, only to discover it doesn't physically exist. Uh, I thought it would be a building with a sign, Martial Arts Hall of Fame, you could buy a ticket and see a life-size wax sculpture of me in the lobby. <laughs> Just because this Hall of Fame is fake doesn't mean that I'm not honored to accept this imaginary award. <laughs> By the way, Jim and Alan wanted me to tell you all uh, that for the membership fee, they are now accepting imaginary checks. <laughs> we have some distinguished guests with us here tonight. Unfortunately, former film star and karate champion Bob Wall couldn't be here tonight. That doesn't mean I'm not going to talk about him. <laughs> Mr. Wall has studied Tang Soo Do with Chuck Norris. He has studied 
Judo with Gene LaBelle, Sharon Rue with Joe Lewis, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with the Machado brothers. But even I must admit that it is quite an achievement to be well versed in four different kinds of bullshit. <laughs> I overheard this in the lobby. This wasn't originally part of my thing, but I thought I'd mention this. Bob Wall has been known uh, to have a saying. He, he says if someone has a problem with him, he's happy to meet them in a room, turn off the lights, and see what happens. <laughs> I want you to think about that for a minute. So I don't know about you, but I need more details. Because if I agree to that and I show up and Bob is naked, I'm leaving. Inside Kung Fu once called Mr. Wall one of the greatest traditionalists of our time. And then to prove it, they took this picture. As you can see, it's a picture of Mr. Wall wearing a pink uniform and fish hooking an innocent fat man from behind. How very traditional. Eric Lee is with us here tonight. Eric. became the king of kata between 1970 and 1974. Mr. Lee won over 100 world titles in forms competition, which means at the time he was the best in the world at fighting imaginary people. <laughs> there is an expert in ninjutsu among us. I wish we were all able to see him. As you all know, ninja warriors are masters of disguise, and trained to fight from the shadows and disappear undetected. Oh, well, there he is. <laughs> Mr. Frank Dukes is here, everyone. <laughs> Mr. Dukes is a full contact fighting champion, a former CIA operative, a movie fight choreographer, but I believe he is best known as an author of fiction. <laughs> Most notably, his autobiography. <laughs> I also hear he buys trophies in his spare time. <laughs> but only for himself. <laughs> Shion Joe Miller is here. Enjoyed it, uh, learning some shiatsu earlier today. Mr. Miller showed us a technique where you can tap someone on the head with a hammer fist to relieve headaches. <laughs> He also said this works on hemorrhoids. <laughs> I'm not making that up, he said that. I don't know about you, but I'm not letting Joe hammer fist my hemorrhoids. <laughs> Sam Kwok is here, master of Wing Chun. <laughs> Had an excellent time. He wore a lovely black evening gown and taught us techniques on how to hold hands with one another. <laughs> then he showed us how to fight uh, while wearing a sleeping mask, presumably in case we meet Bob Wall in that room. <laughs> Bill Superfoot Wallace is here tonight. Yeah. 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 I'm defeated for champion. Yeah. And many of you know, anyone who goes to Wikipedia understands that uh, Bill suffered a groin injury during a point fighting match. He's spoken about it on television. I'm not the first one to bring it up. In fact, my research, doing my research, I was disappointed to find out I'm about 30 years too late to call him One Nut Wallace. <laughs> what a lot of people don't know is that years after the event, he dragged his entire family and all of his friends to the ballet only to be disappointed when he found out the Nutcracker was not about his life story. <laughs> The lovely Cynthia Rothrock is here tonight. Yeah. Queen yeah. of martial arts films. Ms. Rothrock has not only entertained millions with her martial arts skill displayed in her movies, but her good looks helped jumpstart the puberty of an entire generation of male martial arts. <laughs> Kathy Long is here with us tonight. There she is. Five time kickboxing champion and MMA competitor. She has been nicknamed the Punisher and the Queen of Maine, even though she has repeatedly asked her children to stop calling her that. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, it's just a joke. <laughs> Al 
Alan Woodman, I'd like to thank you for, uh, for having me here. Uh, Alan is the host of Sidekick Radio and an expert in Hojo Jitsu. I just can't take that name seriously. <laughs> Sounds like a Japanese pole dancing bar. <laughs> in this art, it is an actual martial art, in this art, Alan teaches students how to tie up and subdue an opponent. He was initially advertising classes on Craigslist, but people kept showing up to his dojo wearing leather masks and ball bags. Uh, Try to change that. <laughs> It's time to get on with the ceremony. I'd like to congratulate you all for buying your awards tonight. <laughs> Please remember that uh, whenever you're ready to surrender to Master Ken and Ameridote, you come to New Mexico. And we'll get started on the untraining. I'll be signing autographs and taking pictures next door. Uh, just remember, if it's not Ameridote, it's bullshit. I'll go ahead and bow out with you. Master Ken! Enter! <laughs> <laughs>